Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Ryan and this is Stax Jungle and we are back to continue our adventure here in the jungle with our two characters, Erica, Marco, well I guess our three characters and the pet Jaguar. So we have now entered, what is this area called? Oh, the Fiery Cave, that's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we took care of the Cold Cave, now we got to take care of the Fiery Cave and I'm not sure how to do that. I think I have an idea, but these lava puddles got to go. That's going to be the way that we accomplish our goal. So I think what I'm going to do is gather together everything here. We'll leave the Flynn. I don't know. Maybe I need that. Not sure. But we're going to head. Oh, we definitely got to take our food with us. We're going to head using the area map this time. Let's go to. Yeah, this is where we're at. Flower. No, no, no. That's not right. This is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we want to go back to the mountain itself, I believe. Yeah, so we'll call forth that card. <gasps> Wait, no, I'm sorry. I want to go to the cold cave. That's right. Yeah, the mountain is not where I want to go. Let's get rid of that by selling it. My ideal is that there's some ice shards from after completing the cold cave that I think maybe will help us with the lava puddle. So let's do some traveling over there. In fact, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, let's just take Marco. It, it might be a bit of a risk here not to take everything with us, but at the same time, it's a little bit easier on me having to sort through all the cards. Okay, we are at the ice cave with Marco. Like I said, there's seven crushed ice here. Also an ice parrot, which I can't really do anything with, but we've grabbed them. Now we can move back to the hot cave, and you can see there's still plenty of time left in the day. So I think we, we managed to pull that off pretty successfully. Now, let's see. Oh, good. Yes, yes, yes. It is working. So, spoilers ahead, but you got to complete the cold cave before you can get the hot cave done, it looks like, or the fiery cave. So, those are working nicely. Let's grab that. All right, there we go. We got a booster. The butterfly effect. I'm going to sell all these because we're definitely going to want to take our coins with us. But I think we've completed this. Oh, the fire parrot. Huh. We'll come back. Obviously, I don't know. Maybe there's something to do with these fire parrots. Or the two different parrots we've got now. We'll see. But um, we got water vapor here. And crushed ice a little bit left. So I just want to keep that in mind in case we happen to need any of this stuff for future questing. It's good to remember like what cards are where. All right, so this is everybody. So where do we want to go? Let's let's just take a look at our quests here. Hot Cave. I think we need to go back to the mountain itself. Yeah, so let's head back there. Okay, Jungle Mountain. Boom, yeah, we've got two quests completed now. If we go to our diary and back to the quests. Um, cave. Oh, I need to expand it. There we go. So it looks like we've got it all. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is an important place because I'll probably have to come back here to get some more iron. In fact, you know what? Before I leave, maybe we should, you know, collect up a few uh, iron ingots, get them crafted. We got the logs here. It's not a bad idea because otherwise I'm sure I'd have to come like right back here and figure something out. So I'm going to buy a few more card packs just because I know I'm going to need logs to smelt up some of the iron. And I didn't get a single log there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, well, I'm just going to pass a little bit of time, maybe a day or two here, collecting some iron. Okay, well, we are approaching day 30 now, and we're about to turn over. I've got plenty of iron. There's six bars right there in my stack, plus another three, two or three that now I need to buy some logs for. But I think that's going to be it. We're going to pull our people off. We'll let this day pass. Don't have much choice. But there we go. There's some logs. That's what I'm talking about. All right, perfect. And I'm just going to sell this because we're going to have to. I don't have enough. Yeah, you can see I'm nearly like 20 cards over almost. So it's a good way to get a bunch of coinage, though. Let's sell all these large rocks. I'm going to take my bones with me. Those are coming with me when we leave. All right, there we go. Yeah, look at that. We're coming out of here with almost 200 coins. So that's pretty darn good. So we're going to, like I said, collect everything up and wait for this to finish. I'm not sure exactly where we want to head next, but all right, there's the day. 
I think we need to go back to the forest floor or something like that and make a grapple now. Now that we have some iron ingots, we can make a grapple to get to what I remember they said we need to use to get to the forest canopy. So that's probably where we're going to head here in one moment. Okay, here we are, the jungle forest. Uh, we've got some huts at this location, I think. Or maybe not. I just have a decent card cap here. All right, so I'm going to put the cat over here on the flower card. That prevents him from jumping around too much. And let's just sort through. Uh, this was also the location where we collected those avocados from. I need to take these tools and just drop them off somewhere. I don't really need all that. Maybe I do, though. Who knows? We'll also collect up this turtle egg. And our coinage will go there. All right, let's just see what we can do now. Make a grapple hook. So... What does that entail? Let's see, grapple, click on it, two iron, a pole, and a rope. That should be fairly easy to do. Uh, we'll use the branches for the ro uh, the pole. And yeah, I'll probably have to buy a few boosters just to get the cordage. Oh, did it say, wait, it said a rope, didn't it? Ooh, so I'm gonna need like three strings. I think it's three. Oh, uh, you know what? We might not be able to get it here. I'm not sure if there's even any cordage whatsoever huh well that's okay it's not the end of the world what i can do is just yeah it's still early enough i could grab where's he at marco here probably send him back to the beach camp i think there's probably some cordage there so let me let me go check a few spots okay well i think this is probably the best spot here i've got a ton of resources at this location this is the jungle river here so it's one of the most well developed right there we can start working on those and i brought the money i went ahead and decided to just bring them all the food basket the money and both adventures that way we can i can really focus you know because rope is kind of labor intensive so we might need to spend a little bit of time here like a full day uh, let's see, coinage, cactus, wild rice. I think that's the first time I've seen that card. Let's see, we got our coconut. Is our parrot here? Yes, he is. He's down in the corner down there. Good old Ricky the parrot. Haven't forgot about him. Oh, I just noticed. I've got 13 string down below there. Holy crap. All right, we've got plenty. So what I need to do, I think it's three cordage. Yep, there's the rope. Okay, well, that'll be a lot quicker than I thought. I figured I'd have to craft up the string first, but no, I think we're going to be okay. So we'll get everything sorted out. Um, let's go ahead and let her make the rope first. And you know what? I'm just going to take the string with me in case we need it. Okay, we are finally back, and I think we are ready to get this going. So we've got two iron ingots, a pole, a rope, and an adventurer. Let's go, Erica. I have chosen you, and we'll get everything sorted out again here in case we need to make a move. Ah, the butterfly. Very good. And here we go. So what do we do with this? Three unknown cards. Okay, so it's just like any place card, basically. We can kind of chill here and just let uh, Marco discover some stuff. All right, that's not new. But um, not much else to do. I guess I could... Cont oh, there we go. <gasps> Jungle canopy. So there's still one unknown card. I feel like it's probably smart to let him discover that last one. But we will go to the jungle canopy here very shortly. Let's just, like I said, let's let him finish. Okay, well, he's done now. It's nothing exciting, but the branch was the other card that we uh, could get from the grappling hook. But the most important one is the canopy. So we're grabbing our coins. Most Whoop, no, don't be making stuff there. Um, there we go. And we'll grab our food basket. Ooh, I guess I'll leave the grapple here. Yeah, there's a spot for it right there. Okay. So grapple stays, a little bit of coinage. We'll leave that to you. You can have that money, Karen. And the kitty cat, I don't see much use for him. So he's staying here. We can always come back for him. Don't forget about that. Ooh, food is... Oh, guys, I almost forgot about food. Holy crap. We've got a... Oh. Mm -mm -mm. You know, before I leave... Actually, let's sell some of these cards here. Before I leave, let's get some avocados. Maybe that's probably smart because we can use this jungle canopy card at any time. But I can't just go around. I almost missed it, but yeah, I'm glad I caught that. We've only got like two food for two more days. But this is, I guess, as good a place as any. Maybe the fishing spot might be a little better. 
for food, but what I'm going to do is plant a few of these so we can make some trees. There we go. And then we'll get our, our adventurers to work on some of these avocado trees. Okay, well, ultimately I decided that I would come back to this area with the fish. I think it is a lot better here because trying to get avocados, it actually costs money because I got to buy those packs. Here we can just put our guy on the fishing pier. Erica is using the heavy rod with some of the earthworms here, so she's catching fish too. So it's pretty much free to do this. Plus I've got two campfires and yeah, ultimately it makes more sense here, so... This is where we're going to spend a couple of days just getting some food. Very important. Ooh, now the electric eel is used for another quest. I just don't know exactly what to do with it. I think I need to go get a bowl of water. I, I'm going to experiment with that. So I'm going to keep this eel if possible. Hold on to that. Ooh, we got an old barrel. We'll have to open that up. There we go. Everybody eat. This is why we're here. Make sure you get some of that delicious cooked fish, please. Okay, so we're doing really well with the food, but while I've been waiting, I've also been completing the quests and stuff. So the only thing we've got to do is cook up one of these tambukis, or however you say it. I'm not sure. We just made the shovel, so I don't know why we needed that, but there it is. I've also, I caught a trophy shrimp, which was pretty cool. I'm pretty sure we just sell that for the coinage, but no, that was nice. And I still don't know what to do with the turtle egg just yet, so we're just chilling there. It says it could be used in cooking, but it doesn't work on a campfire. It's probably part of a recipe. Nonetheless, I would like to finish this quest here. I don't know exactly where to get it, because the fishing net, it says crafting recipe shrimp bass. So I don't think it comes from that. I'm just wondering if maybe it's part of this. Hold on. Oh, that didn't work. I know you can use some of these for bait. Like the bass you can use for bait. Um, okay, Erica, we're going to have to get some worms. Oh, that's what I need the shovel for is to dig up worms, I bet. Yep, yep, yep. Let's try that. There we go. All right. Maybe that's the way to get the other. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't tell us what this car... Oh, okay, it does so... Ah, yes, the Tambuki, it is part of this one here, the pier. So I'll just keep going with this until we actually get it. Like I said, I'd like to get all these quests knocked out at each location instead of leaving like one or two behind. It just doesn't feel right. Okay, there it is, our beautiful little Tambuki. We got it. Look at that big eye. All right, the artwork on these fish is pretty good. I like the piranhas look, but um, we just got to cook them up. So that's all we're doing here. Let's get that working. And man, this place is loaded now. All right. I'm just going to pull her off. I'll leave. I'm going to leave the stuff here, like the fishing rod. Put the fish there. I guess we... Oh, we've got some worms here. Let's get her to open these barrels too before we leave. But he's done. Oh, we got so much stuff here. It's crazy. Yeah, this is the location for us to return to the Blue Lagoon. If we need anything, whether it be logs, string, food... I like this place. All right, look at those coins we got. Okay, getting <laughs> getting more booster packs here, just a bonus. All right, so we did it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I got the booster pack for. So this area is done. Now, we were going to head up to the canopy. I think it's probably still the best bet. And I'm pretty sure we don't need to return. No, that's where we are. We don't. I think we can just call forth... Uh, yeah, the canopy card. Okay, there it is. So let me get everything organized here. We've still got to take our food with us. Oh, we got one more fish cooking. Let's let that go through. Oh, all right. Good time. Let the day pass. Go ahead. See, we got plenty of card space. There you go. Get that food in you. All right, let's go. Oh, there's the parrot. Let's go. Jungle Canopy, our first time visiting this location. Should be interesting. Oh, a rubber tree. There's a jungle parrot. NPC card. Can't do anything with. We've got a nest over here. That's interesting. Let's get our people working on the rubber trees. All right. We got tons of coinage. So first things first. Let's move these guys a little bit because we're going to be buying some card packs. Put our food basket over there. Looks like rich soil and latex are a couple important cards. But uh, yeah, there's four unknown cards in the jungle pack. So let's buy some. 
It's always fun opening boosters. All right. Pretty, pretty basic. Only two cards there. Okay. That did open up. There's the rubber tree. So we got one left that we don't know about yet. There it is. Rich soil. Okay. So that's, I'll probably have to buy some more card packs, but we now know everything that is included in those. Now we get leaves. There it is. Latex. So what do we do here? Collect three latex bowls from rubber trees. Okay. That's, I think that's it. Okay, yeah, we just did it. Explore the area. That probably means the nest? Ooh, that doesn't sound too great. I don't know if I want to go explore a nest, really. But uh, let's just grab our people. Maybe I should have brought the cat with me after all, huh? We're going to take our food basket, just be fully prepared. But we'll go ahead and explore the nest, see what that means. Oh, phew, the bird's nest. I thought it was going to be like the hornet's nest or, I don't know, the snake's nest. <laughs> uh, Brazil nut tree. Oh, okay. Check out the feather. Oh, there's the feather. What's it say, Marco? The parrot's feather. What a beautiful and colorful feather. There must be a really royal bird nearby. Okay. Got it. So I think, I guess our goal is to make contact with the royal parrot. Well, we'll see. All right, so we do have another card pack to open up. Let's just move everything. Yeah, get these guys working on the Brazil nut trees. Oh, here it is right here. I just noticed it. The Parrot King. That's interesting. The Parrot is wearing his shiny gold crown and thinks he's the king of bird tree. He promises to show you his amazing tree if you give him no less than a diamond. Okay, well, he's got a high, high taste, but uh, maybe we can come across a diamond. I don't know. We'll see, okay. Only one more card to discover here. The log, okay. So just some basic resources at this location. Let's see what these Brazil nut trees give us. Do you want a Brazil nut? No, he, he wants a diamond, not the Brazil nut. I guess we'll just put those in our food? I don't know. I feel like, I don't even see the Brazil nut tree as like part of the pack, so. That worries me. What if there are no... Look, the great tree. Wait, how do we discover that? Let's just hang out. Let's keep going. What if these are really hard to come by eventually? You know, Brazil nuts. There you go, leaves. Okay, journal. It's not helping me right now. Let's go. I'm just... I hate not knowing. I must know. Brazil nut, quest item. Get out of there. All right, well, that's pretty much it for the trees. Huh. Interesting. Now, there are those other parrots, obviously, like the fire parrot and the ice parrot at the different various locations. So I bet you that somehow they'll come into play as well. I'm, I'm guessing. I don't know for sure. It's a mystery here. But um, let's see. So what's the next place? Check our area map. We're here. There's the canopy. We haven't visited this place yet. How do we get to that? Did I miss something at the flowers? Let's go investigate that. I feel like I think I missed something. Okay, the flower sounds like a good place to be. Food basket. Whoa, look at all these butterflies. Tay, just coming to, ooh, hummingbirds here. Uh, just coming to some of these locations, man. You can make some money selling off the butterflies alone. But there's definitely something going on here because we got a quest here. Red Orchid. Hey there. Wow. More adventures. What a day. It's great to see you all. I'm on a mission to find a rare red orchid. I, did I just sell it by accident? <laughs> Probably not. To find for my grandma. I heard that it may be possible to grow one using seeds, but honestly, I have no idea how to do that. Do any of you know how to grow orchids? If so, I have some red orchid seeds that I found in the jungle. If you help me out, I'll be happy to show you the way those other travelers went. Deal? Oh, so we've got other travelers we're tracking. Yeah, that's a deal. Let's do it. Um, so there's the orchid seeds. We probably need some fertile soil here. Now, I'm going to sell all this stuff. I wonder, should I just go back and grab some? The day's about over, so... We're going to let it, I'm going to unpause and let the day pass so we can eat a little bit. And then I think I'm going to go retrieve some rich soil from one of those other locations. Okay, we are back here with the rich soil. Let's just see how this works. I don't know if this is what we need. There it is. We did it. Okay, it says grow red orchids. Doesn't seem like it's going to take very long. <gasps> 
How beautiful. Oh, it's glorious. Let's talk to her again. Thank you so much for your help with growing the red orchid. I really appreciate your expertise and guidance. Thank you again for being so kind and helping me with this endeavor. It's very grateful. Oh, the lost expedition. So she held firm to her word and she's shown us the way to follow, I guess, another group who got lost here on this island. So let's do it. Let's head over there. You can keep this rich soil. Now you know the secret. It's called putting it in rich soil. You got it. Oh, hot air balloon here. Let's see. Now, remember, we're in search of a diamond, too. Keep that in the back of your mind at all times. Whoa, there's 20 cards here. Unknown. Jeepers creepers. That's pretty cool. We got some butterflies to sell. Some orchids to get rid of. Yeah, these cost 25 coins. Wow, I thought it was rich until I saw the cost of some of these. Well, they've got a bunch of flowers. <laughs> what is this? Okay, let's interact with it. Ha! That piece of fabric looks like a balloon cloth. I see latex marks. Now I wonder if there was another expedition that used a hot air balloon and may need help. Let's search the area for more clues. Interesting. Starting to come together in my mind. Maybe what we're going to have to do. You maybe use some of that latex we found to repair this thing. I wonder if that's the eventual goal. I don't know. I haven't played through it yet. And I'm anxious not to leave any spoilers for you guys. So we're probably going to go through a few more episodes here. Explore a couple more of the areas. But ultimately, I think I'm going to leave the series incomplete in the sense that I'm not going to go through the entire storyline just yet. It's so early upon release that I'd like anybody out there who's tuning in to seriously consider picking the game up for yourself or put it on your wish list until it goes on sale. That way you can kind of discover the ending for your own and stuff. But like I said, we're going to still have a few more episodes to go. So I hope you guys will stay tuned for those. We're probably going to end today's episode right here. So hit that like button for me, guys, if you're enjoying the playthrough. Let me know down in the comment section if you have picked up the game yourself or how far you've gotten and i will see you all on the next one